Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we're going to look at some pelicans. I've always liked pelicans. I wanted to do a video on them. I'm back here again at uh, Wynnum, one of my favourite places in Brisbane. It's just a nice place to get away. And you can sit there and just look at these birds all day long. You could always tell by the pelican with its big beak and its uh, pouch used for catching fish. Now the uh, pouch isn't for storing fish. A lot of people think that they can store fish there. They, they don't. They actually use the pouch to drain the water so they can swallow the fish. Their lifespan in the world is um, around about 15 to 25 years old just beautiful majestic animals on there the facts are that uh, the bill or the pouch can hold more food than its stomach can they're a herd animal, so um, they like to be around other pelicans. And they don't only eat fish, which I was a bit surprised. I heard that they eat birds and turtles. Caspian tern bird decided to show its presence. And have a little look around to see what the commotion is all about. Great birds, made for speed. Look at their wings, just streamlined. There was some fisherman there that day and he was cleaning his catch and uh, he was filleting his fish and he was throwing away the bones and all the pelicans were trying to eat it but uh, I don't think they can eat a fish with, without its flesh doesn't go down its throat too well as you can see it gets stuck in their throat <laughs> no he won't be able to swallow that he's having problems already oh a little egret Great birds. There are about five species, actually there's eight species of pelicans in the world. Most of them found all over the continents, except for Antarctica. And our friend here, he still can't get his fish down. Little egrets gone. Great little catches, always oh, missed. There he is. Oh, he got it. He got a leaf too. He got the fish and the leaf at the same time. What does he decide to do? Let's go of the fish and the leaf and goes back for the fish and gets it. <laughs> Got himself another fish. He easily eats it. Oh, and he and he washes his beak as well. And what's happened with our friend over here? Yep, the fish is still stuck in his throat. He's determined to give him that much. Wow. And here comes another one. I'm going to check out the situation and what's going on. Some uh, seagulls taking a bath before they go to bed. Yeah, the lifespan they say is around 10 to 25 years, but in captivity they've lived up to 54 years old. 
and the females they lay one to three eggs but they have been known to lay about four to five eggs uh, well incubation when they haven't been incubation it usually takes between 28 to 36 days to hatch The record size of a bill ever found was around 50 centimetres, and that was an Australian pelican. They say the American white pelican uh, holds 11 litres of water in its pouch. That's like three gallons of water. That's just amazing. And back to our friend, he's finally let the fish go. So if you head out to Wynnum, and you can sit down and just have a picnic and watch these birds, you'll be, I'm sure you'll be entertained. And then you've got your Caspians everywhere and you've got your little egrets as well, they'll keep you entertained. By this time the water was coming, so the tide was out, so the tide's coming in now. I love the way they walk, especially in the water. They have their wings half out like that. I think it's more for balance. When they take off, when they're underwater, everyone knows about it. Well, thanks for coming everyone and uh, tuning in to watch this spectacular bird with me um, I had lots of fun filming them so yeah hit the like button if you like what you're seeing and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more and hit the notification bell and I've left it now with a few photos that I've taken from the day and I hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you soon bye